I've got a tiger down my side. Audio's good, audio's good. He's, he's happy days. It's a batsman's game and batsman's rule. And that's it. What does Cape Town have that no other place in the world has? My house. <laughs> Your 175 or 66s? Six if you had to give up one, which would it be? I think um oh, I'll go with this I'll go with the six sixes. Hundred tests or three hundred rodeos? A record that you would like to have. No, I'd rather go hundred tests any day. How did the nickname Scooter come about? Okay, but make, our nickname Scooter I got when I was sixteen. Um Obviously, playing first class cricket, and I, w I didn't qualify for a sponsored car. And obviously, because I was only 16, so you need to be 18, uh, you know, to get the driver's license. But they thought of giving me a scooter, so that's how I got the name Scooter. Are you for or against man cutting? Um, I'm against that. Skipping a leg day or indulging in a cheat meal, <laughs> what are you likely to do? Indulging in a cheat meal, that's for sure. If you had to change one thing about modern day cricket, what would that be? Well, I think, um, I think bowlers, obviously they always say it's a batsman's game, but I think they should, uh, they should be a standard boundary size, I think, for in T20 especially. Uh, they should be at least, at least 80 meters, you know, um, and not shorter. At least 80 meters long, the boundaries. If your kid wants to be a professional cricketer, what would you prefer him or her to be? A batsman, bowler, all-rounder or a... A batsman. Take a batsman any day. It's, it's a batsman's game and batsman's rule. And people want to come see fours and sixes hit, you know, but they also want to see fast bowlers bowl, you know, guys that can actually bowl 150 or one, you know, close to 160. So, but I think it's, it's still a batsman's game. Your toughest day or phase in professional cricket? Um, I think obviously the ban, I think in 2000, it was, there was a tough phase. A tattoo that defines you the best? Um, I've got a, I've got a tiger down my side, I think. Um, that's probably defines me the most, I think. One quality that A.B. De Villiers has, but Virat Kohli doesn't. While what does Kohli have that De Villiers doesn't? I mean, I think they're two both great, you know, both great players. Um, sure, this is a tough question, that. Um, I think Virat, Virat likes the, the pressure more. He thrives on pressure. Especially, obviously, chasing in, in ODIs. Um, and I think he's definitely one up on, on AB with regards to that. Um, but I think with the coming to batting, and maybe AB's got more shots than, than Birat has. Would you give up your 175 in return for Steve Walk's catch in the 1999 World Cup? <laughs> um, no. No, no. It happens, you know. I mean, even, even jointy drop catches, you know. But... Uh, what can you say? The best drop catches is nothing I can tell. Is Herschel Gibbs the best fielder after John T. Rhodes? Well, I'd, I'd leave him to answer that question, but uh, I don't think I was too far off him, if I must say so myself. One life lesson you applied in your playing days? No, I played with complete freedom. You know, it's a, very much the same way that I live my life. Um, you only have one career, you only have one life, and you know, it's up to you how you want to live it. But I live it at a lot of times at 100 miles an hour, like I used to bat sometimes. Who were your idols growing up? I um, always loved, obviously, Sir Viv. Um, Sir Viv and the other one was Peter Kirsten. You know, those two, um, those are my two big idols. A driving habit that you would like to change? One habit? Um, yeah, just obviously uh, make the, the speed limits, you know, lower. Um, that would help because people like the speed and, um, you know, if everybody you know, drove slower, it would help. You faced repercussions of drinking and driving. What is the one advice you would like to give? Yeah, I mean, it's obviously uh, mistakes that I made. I made two mistakes, actually, and uh, learned my lesson in a big way. It's just, you know, it's a simple one that's not up for negotiation. Um, negotiation. You just don't do it. Um, and I've learned my lesson big time. So um, it's just not worth it, uh, you know, in the end. And, you know, that's <laughs> That's end of story. Simple, right there. Your fondest memory on the cricketing field? I think was um, sure making my debut uh, at the old uh, at the old Eden Gardens. Um, I remember we obviously won that we won that particular game because I made my debut at the same time as Lance Kuzner. 
Um, and I remember Eden Gardens being full for the whole five days, you know, which is, you know, which is, would have been close to half a million people that have watched the game over, over those five days. So the first test, definitely, uh, probably my fondest memory.